Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a review of Blender. Now if you're not familiar with what Blender is, uh, essentially it's an open source 3D modeler, compositor, and animator, and also it has an awesome game engine in it. So it can do quite a bit, and uh, considering it's open source, you know, that's pretty cool. So let's get right into this review. Um, not only am I going to be reviewing it, but I'm going to be you know, showing you guys a few basic things. And so yeah, just overall giving you guys my opinion on it. And uh, so yeah, here we go. So right when you open it up, uh, here's the splash screen that you're going to get. Just click on it, make it go away. All right, so um, just put that to center. So essentially, yep, here's Blender. This is the interface. Now it's always going to start up with your little default cube, of course, that you can play around with. Uh, but that, let's look around at uh, some of the abilities. So on the left, uh, left hand bar right here, we have the object tools. And uh, that obviously does come in pretty handy. For instance, we have on shading, we have smooth and flatten, we have keyframes, uh, motion paths, object, uh, duplicate object, join, delete. And then on the transform tab, we have uh, translate, rotate, scale, origin. Um, so let's take a look at the, sh uh, excuse me, the smooth uh, underneath the shading real quickly. And um, the way we're going to smooth, if we just click smooth right now, it's going to do kind of not so good job. So I'm just going to undo that. And so over here, we've this is where most of the work happens. So over here, um, I'm just going to maximize that a little more. Over here, we have a bunch of different abilities that we can use. Right here, this is our render window. And so this is where we choose all of our, um, all of our uh, rendering uh, specs and everything. And there's actually quite a lot that you can do to it. I'm pretty impressed. You know, you can change the frame rate and everything. They give you uh, quite a few different presets as well as you can plug in a custom which is cool. Uh, I'm just gonna keep that at around 30 that'll be fine. And uh, yeah they've got a ton of great rendering uh, abilities here that uh, you definitely want to take a look at and really educate yourself on that. And also Blender, um, let me check to see, yes. So Blender just uh, released what's called Cycles Render engine and it's in the new version of cycles the one I mean the new version of blender which is what I have in cycles is essentially well, it's a new a new rendering engine and so it renders things very very realistically I'll probably give you guys uh, another video in the future showing you guys cycles because it is just freaking awesome um, before that all they had was the blender render and of course you know blender game but for actual animating and stuff and uh, 3D modeling, you'd render out your object with Blender Render. And uh, that was pretty good, but it to make something look realistic, it took a lot of work. Cycles, it does, it really um, reacts with the lighting and everything a lot more realistically and just takes a lot of the workload off of you and puts it into the rendering system and more automates it a little easier. Um, so yeah, so this rendering system, you definitely want to really educate yourself on. Next, uh, we have scene. You know, you can choose uh, scene specs and all that. Over here, world. Uh, you can change the world. You know, your atmosphere. You can um, say if I add in a plane right now, just move that up and rotate it a little bit. Um, I can change. I can change this into an actual light. This plane right here this flat uh, looking thing right here, I can change that into a light within the world tab and then of course through the material tabs as well uh, a combination of those you can change it into an actual light and you can get it to emit you know, uh, realistic looking light so that's pretty cool um, and then uh, here within the plane you can here kind of this is kind of your object center and so once you select a different object it shows up and you can rename it so this plane I could name um, plane number one you know that way you just keep all of your um, uh, all of your objects really organized and once you name that right up here is essentially your um, it's uh, where all your objects are stored so um, they're all right here so if I add another object I'm going to add a sphere UV sphere I'm just going to bring that up so if I move that around you can see I've got a sphere right here and I'm going to name that sphere number one. I'm going to name my cube uh, cube number one. Alright, and so then right here you can see everything's all organized. You can maximize it or minimize it. You can turn it off so you don't see it. You can lock it. Do all that kind of good stuff. 
All right, and so we're just gonna kind of jump through here. Right in here are the modifiers. This is pretty nice. This is where you know you do a lot of uh, different molding work and stuff. So I'm have my cube selected, and within here I've got a bunch of different abilities that I can do. I'm just gonna take a look at one real quickly: a subdivision surface. And so I'm just gonna select that. As you can see, it kind of boxed it up a little bit. All right, and that's okay. We're going to add three levels of this subdivide, and then we're going to hit smooth on the left here and as you can see we have a perfect sphere that we made out of um, just a cube alright so there's and again there's tons and tons of abilities in here that you can look at that are all very very helpful then we can uh, walk over here to the materials tab with my cube selected and we can add a color we can add texturing and stuff so just real quickly I'm going to turn this green and there's a bunch of different other abilities you can do. Then I'm going to go over to the texture. I can add a new texture. I can add, you know, an image, image or movie that I can put over this. And select both, all that, and then select all the uh, different mapping and everything. So that's good. Then you have your particle systems. You can add a new particle system. And so that's good. Then over here we have our physics, which uh, obviously you're pretty much only going to use unless you're animating or using it into a game engine. Um, but overall this is really really awesome. I've been using it for a little over just about two years now. Just about two years now I've been using Blender and it is fantastic. I've done a ton with uh, the render system, rendering photos, rendering video, as well as uh, doing a lot with the game engine. And recently I've, doing, I've uh, been doing a ton more with the game engine and uh, really trying to get a nice professional looking product out. So uh, it's it's an awesome, awesome open source product that I'd highly recommend guys. It is, it's really, really blows me away that it's open source. I mean every time I use it I'm blown away that it's, that it is open source. It's crazy. So I highly recommend it guys. It's really, really awesome. Click the link in the description below to go to blenderorg.com where you can download it for free. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you later. Bye.